What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today we got more news on Destiny's newest expansion, The Taken King. So today, Game Informer dropped a new article detailing information about The Taken King. In this article, they highlight a lot of new information for the expansion, so let's get into it. So the first thing is about leveling and the new level cap. So the leveling system is going to be changing. Uh, it's going to be very similar to the way we leveled up when we first made our Guardians, where you leveled up from 1 to 20, and it was all experience-based. Uh, you gain level by killing guys through experience, by completing missions, completing crucible games, stuff like that. So it's all going to be similar to that. And also the new level cap is going to be level 40. So uh, we're going to be leveling up solely on experience from now on. And your armor does not dictate your light level. So you can't alter your light level. You can't revert back down levels by changing your gear back to older versions or a lower rarity and uh, it's all based on your experience so it's all a progression and you'll never have to turn back um, or you'll never have to decrease in level uh, based on the gear that you're wearing so armor is still going to be a valuable part of the game it's still going to determine the perks that you have on your guardian and also your defense values are still very important for game modes. They require you to have a certain level because level advantages are enabled such as Trials of Osiris or Iron Banner. Uh, so defense values are still going to matter but you can be a level 40 guardian uh, wearing all common gear or all uncommon or rare gear. Um, but it still does matter if you're wearing exotic slash legendaries because it does determine your uh, defense value so that's still very important however your gear does not determine your light level like uh, previously in year one so that's one of the big changes coming with the Taken King and the second thing is that year one legendary weapons and armor will not be able to be ascended in year two so um, I don't know if this is going to be forever or just at the beginning um, but year two is going to be the start of a new set of gear and weapons and you're going to be able to try out all the new weapons and gear that they're including in the game which is going to be the biggest amount ever according to what Bungie's been stating lately. So all our old legendary weapons and armor will not be able to be ascended past 365 damage or light 42. Um, they want us to try out all the new gear coming out with the year 2 of Destiny and this allows us to do so by leaving all our old legendaries in the past. So I'm both happy and sad about this because I do like some of my old legendaries and I do still enjoy using them and still want to use some of them going forward into the new content of year 2. But again, I also really want to be excited about trying out some of the new weapons, some of the new armor pieces, and all the new stuff that we have coming in the next year of Destiny. So. I think this is refreshing, at least we still get our exotics, exotics always stay with us and that's always a good thing that we can hold on to as well. So that's the second thing and then also they talk about the fact that Peter Dinklage is not going to be the voice of the ghost anymore and they actually are going to be replacing him with Nolan North as the voice actor for the ghost and so everything from the beginning of Destiny up until all the content in the Taken King is going to be replaced by Nolan North's voice. Uh, so that's going to be interesting with a new uh, voice actor for one of the main voices that we always hear in all of the story missions in everything that we uh, play in regards to PvE. So that's going to be pretty interesting. And that's the main points listed in today's article from Game Informer on The Taken King. If you guys want to check out the article yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can go check it out for yourselves. And they also state that they're going to be showing us and revealing a lot more stuff about The Taken King uh, this month in August leading up to the release um, coming next month in September. So Pretty exciting stuff, we're getting a lot more news and there's also some news coming our way from Gamescom this week as well, so stay tuned for that. So that's about it for this video, thank you guys for watching, as always like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace!